Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my bedroom floor. This is where I film, in case you're wondering. I finished Inkoba just recently, and I wanted to film this video before I procrastinated it too much. Um, it's actually Sunday night. It's been a weird day. I just, an hour ago, was asleep on this floor. We're actually under my desk. Fun fact, I sleep under my desk sometimes when I'm tired enough. So, yes, I just, my stupid dog keeps barking. Um, uh, I cut my nails, by the way. I'm sorry to everybody who loved the fact that I had long nails. I did not. They drive me insane. But I, I have had a weird day and I feel that it is necessary to do something that I really enjoy doing, which is filming a video. Um, even though I may sound a little lackluster, this is my knee, sorry. Um, so, this Inktober sketchbook I made myself, I stitched it, up, stitched it up myself, it's just, um, see, all stitched. It's just some, like, kind of thicker cardstock and some black paper. I actually have a video of me making this on my channel, um, so I might link that somewhere, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually the most recent video, so. Uh, my stupid dog. Okay, and the materials that I used in here are the Tombow uh, dual brush pen thingies. Yep. In... N55 and N75. These are pretty good greys. Um, I also used these Tombow... Are these the Fudanoskes? And also, I don't know whether or not I'm saying that right. I'm just assuming that Fudanoske is how it's pronounced, because that's how Jelly Bee pronounces it. I used this Faber-Castell Polychromos uh, pencil to sketch. It's in rose carmine, and look at how much I used in Inktober. It was already kind of short, but now it's even shorter. I used my Pentel brush pen sort of just to fill in any um, completely black areas, and I used this Staedtler or Stabilo. Wait, is this Staedtler? I thought it was Staedtler. Okay. The Stabilo Boss um, highlighter, pastel highlighter in pink. And I also used my jelly roll for white highlights. So let's get to the sketchbook tour. I referenced the original um, Inktober logo, not the original, well, the, yeah, no, the. I don't know, whatever it is, logo. And just for 2018. And I just realized how washed out this um, video is. Hmm, I might see if I can fix that. So I think I sort of fixed it. The pinks don't look super pink, but I don't know, this might be the best that we can get. So, when I was doing Inktober, I really wanted to practice drawing scenes, so that's why pretty much every single panel in, or drawing in here looks like a comic book panel. Um, I watched Mew Triplet's, uh sketchbook tour countless times before beginning Inktober, because she, in my opinion, is someone who really knows how to draw people simplified but in a way that still look like people like really realistic sort of body movements and gestures so you're going to see a lot of inspiration from her in this in this uh, book I did not try to directly copy her at any point I am just very inspired by her um, so anyway I started off thumbnailing like she did I scrapped this maybe a week in because I just got sick of thumbnailing. Um, and a lot of these drawings wound up 
just having to be quicker. So this one, I think I did the sketch for and I really liked it. And I actually live streamed this. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that. And I don't know, I just decided to draw like a little girl who found a cricket. So yeah, each of these sort of has a story to it, which is what I tried to do. And I'm going to try not to talk about each and every single one, but um, because I want this video to not be a hundred hours long, but yeah, I don't know. You would have seen all of these too if you follow me on Instagram because uh, I'm not trying to plug my Instagram, I swear. I'm just saying that's where I post my artwork too. Um, I was trying to like upload every day. I actually really like this drawing. I don't like this one. This one, I feel like I could have done better, but I think I just, I hadn't warmed up enough. I think that's the problem. Um, I use sticky notes whenever I would stuff up because I can. I just, I wanted to cover up and make things look better, make them look okay. I still quite like this one. Um, I just wanted to draw something that makes me happy and drawing girls in big floppy hats and sunsets makes me very happy. This was sort of a foreshortening practice. Um, I, I don't hate it, but I do feel like I could have done better. Um, well, actually, no, I don't feel like I could have done better, but I feel like there is obviously better foreshortening out there and I want to learn how to do it. <sighs> just sort of trying to get comfortable here. This was definitely very rushed. You can always tell if something that is rushed with me when the composition just makes no sense. This this part looks dreadful. I need to improve on my composition, but I really do like this uh, character design. This does look a lot like Chase. Um, any dude that I draw that has pink hair always winds up looking like Chase, so that's why I just draw Chase a lot. Um, another foreshortening practice. I actually don't mind how this turned out either. Yeah. Did I just skip one? No, okay. Um, I don't even remember drawing this really. Yeah. I was drawing this while I was watching the uh, Jake Paul series that Shane Dawson was doing. That was a really fascinating series too. I'm going to try not to move the sketchbook around too much. Um, as you can tell, I made a big mistake on this one. So it just wound up being a girl walking through the woods with creepy eyes on her. And then this one I love. I I think it's it actually looks quite cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can zoom you guys in a little more. Yeah. Give you a slightly better view. Also, it was day 13, so I thought, ooh, a haunted house for day 13. I feel like I'm skipping some pages again because I am. Uh, this looked better in my head. This, I don't mind. Um, just a girl and her dog. I feel like the sun is definitely going down right now. Um, uh, I quite like this. I travel on the train a lot, so I sort of just decided to draw someone traveling on the train. Um, I try to draw people who I see on the train or at the train station quite often too because drawing from life is a good good idea. Um, this is just what I do every single morning. I check my phone. Uh, this, I was actually... <laughs> funny story, I was... Uh, I found some, I don't know, funny Tumblr post about Lazy Town, which is a show I'd forgotten about. Um, and then I went and watched the whole first episode, so I was inspired to do this. It was very nostalgic, actually, which is funny, because I didn't think it was that nostalgic for me. It wasn't that big in my childhood. It was more my sister, my sister's thing. But, um, no, I found it very nostalgic. It was interesting. This was inspired by Billie Eilish's new, uh, video. What's it called? When the Party's Over. It is such a beautiful video. Um... And it's such a beautiful song, too. I love it. Stuffed up here, stuffed up here. So sticky notes, because sticky notes. Sticky notes are great. 
didn't really know what to draw for this one, so I just sort of drew a um, sad girl in an empty movie theatre. And I really like this one. Um, I'm very proud of this. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why. I just I just really like it. I think the stuff that has like better values and more pushed kind of values is the stuff that I like more. I don't know why. I just Oh, and by the way, I didn't really follow prompts. I used some of them for inspiration, but I just sort of like wrote the names of each of the pieces that I decided to do that cuz that I named them. I don't know. I just did that cuz why not? Um, this is probably the worst drawing that I've done, which honestly it's not terrible, but I'm just not proud of it. It doesn't seem as up to snuff as the others. Uh, this one, I, <laughs> it was the last day of Inktober, I was doing a bunch of catch-up, and I said to my boyfriend, what should I draw? And he said, because it was really late at night, it wasn't that late at night actually, it was like maybe nine o'clock? Yeah, that's not very late, um, but we were both kind of tired. I said to him, what should I draw for day 30 of Inktober? And he said, oh, draw Meg sleeping. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll do that. So I drew a sleepy Meg. Um, and is this, copy is this a cop-out drawing? Yes, but I do not care because I survived Inktober and I finished it. Or so I thought, because in case you hadn't noticed, when I was flipping through, I skipped day 18, completely by accident. So I completed 30, 30 drawings in, in in October for Inktober. I'm kind of sad <laughs> that I didn't complete the whole thing, that makes me really sad. Um, and I didn't actually realise until November 3rd, and I thought to myself, I could go back and do another one, but I'm not going to, because that would be untruthful. All of these drawings were created in October. Wow, it's gotten really dark now. Um, and hopefully I will actually finish Inktober next year. However, previous Inktobers, I haven't even lasted a week. So I am so proud of myself for completing this little book. If you are watching this video in the future because you're considering doing Inktober, I, I have to say, I really, really recommend that you have a sketchbook. You don't even have to make it yourself. You can just get, find a small sketchbook that you put your Inktober drawings into because it honestly is so much more motivating to have a sketchbook dedicated to Inktober rather than, um, rather than like loose sheets and stuff like that. Or at least it is for me. You know, do what works for you. That's very important. But, you know, this worked for me, so... I thought it might work for someone else. So yes, thank you guys for um, watching this video. I know it was kind of a short one, but I just wanted to share my Inktober sketchbook. You cannot see a damn thing anymore. Um, look, a white jelly roll. Ooh, it's like it's glowing. I'm so weird. I have had such a weird day, but thank you for sitting down with me and going through my Inktober sketchbook. I consider this success a success, and I'm so proud of myself. And I'm not proud of myself very often with my artwork, but I'm proud of this. I'm hoping to make more videos. I'm always hoping to make more videos, really. Um, I'm always hoping that I can organize my schedule better, but right now with work, it's just very hard to. Um, I'm also studying, so that's... That's an extra kind of time killer thing. And I just wanted to mention, I know that a lot of people ask me why I don't upload uh, like weekly or anything like that. Um, I am not paid to make YouTube videos. I am not a YouTuber. I know that my videos are monetized, um, but because of AdSense or some weird thing like that, I don't actually get money. And I'm not really, I, I don't think that I've, reached a threshold or something that they wanted me to and I don't really care uh, I make YouTube videos as a hobby and I make them because I enjoy making them I don't make them just so that you guys have content to swallow I make them so that maybe you you guys will enjoy them too I hope that makes sense I'm really tired I've had such a weird day um yes Inktober 2018
done and dusted. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.